Hi everyone, Vicki Burley here. Rock and Roll Prophesis. We're going to take a look at the uh, full moon in Taurus. This is happening on October 27th, 2015. Full moon in Taurus, of course, opposed the sun in Scorpio. Um, it's making one of those odd aspects to Saturn, so there's going to need to be an, an adjustment. Not at the time of the full moon, which is, by the way, 8.05 a.m. Eastern Time. But a little later in the day, that moon's going to move up and fill in this, these grand trines here because we still have um, this concentration of Virgo energy and it's all trining Pluto. So as the day progresses, a little later that day, the moon will come in and you know make, fill in these grand trines here. So it's a lot about the Earth energy. It's very much about the Earth energy, grounded down to Earth, practical matters, Taurus and all the Earth signs are money, financial, these are all things that could be going on in just a real practical sense in our everyday lives. Um, you know, uh, this, this stellium in Virgo is still all hanging together here. We've got Mars, Venus, Jupiter all hanging together in Virgo, and now they're opposing Chiron. So again, I just feel like healing and health is very uh, much a top priority too. Um, for some reason, I just want to say, um, if any of you have elderly people that you are, you take care of or in your family, I want you to, I feel like everybody should check their meds or something. Or maybe that's just for a few people, but I'm just getting that message. Like, I think some people might be, um, there could be issues with meds, and I'm feeling like older people, too, for some reason. I don't know why I want to say that, but... Um, well, I guess anybody could check their meds, but I talked at length about how this relates to the drug companies and, you know, things like that and other videos. So if you want to, you know, learn more about that, you can go back and look at what I've said, you know, uh, in the past. I don't want to keep repeating what I've said. One of the things that this chart struck me as also is um, in America, our politicians, this is all gearing up here, you know. And this is almost, you know, this could even be Hillary Clinton's uh, solar return chart. I believe her birthday is October 26th, so it's going to be real close to her solar return chart. Um, and b with all the Virgo energy, Bernie Sanders, the other uh, Democratic, one of the other Democratic contenders, is also a Virgo. So he's got a lot of energy in his uh, chart. You know, with Hillary, she's not really talking as much about health care like she did, because Chiron's all the healing, and this is all the healing. I mean, that was her baby, and I remember watching those hearings back in the 90s, and she was really on top of it all, and she really uh, she really knew what what was really going on, you know. She knew about how people were on welfare just to get health care. She knew how people later in life were, you know, losing their houses because they had a health crisis, and, you know, she was very much in the know and did her homework big time, and that was always her thing, and she hasn't really been talking about it much, and... Bernie Sanders brought it up. But, you know, this the health care system, I know, you know, President Barack Obama got everything, you know, got it initiated, um, but it's not perfect by a long shot, you know. Uh, it's great that everybody can have coverage now. But, and I know that this was not his intention. I know that the, Barack Obama was blocked, you know. He wanted to have it, a better system, but, you know, they were going to shut down the government and whatever else they were going to do. But anyways, the point is, that this is no bargain, this new health care thing that they have. Yeah, everybody can be insured, but the deductibles are five and six thousand dollars. So, in other words, you're paying all the bill yourself up to five or six thousand dollars. So, in other words, you're pretty much paying your own medical period, you know, and um, but you're still kicking in whatever, you know, three or four hundred dollars, whatever it might be, a month. So, you've got to cough up three or four hundred dollars a month. That's earth practical money stuff. And you you have to pay for everything on yourself uh, up to if something serious happens yeah okay but you're pretty much I remember when my kids were little my ex had um, insurance through his work and everything was free practically from what I can remember I mean um, doctor visits everything was pretty much free I think that maybe it was five dollars to see a specialist and maybe some prescriptions were one dollar but most of them were free I mean it covered doctor visits it covered everything and. This is not covering anything <laughs> up till, you know, so this is, there's a big gap, you know, there's a big gap that needs to be closed here, uh, financially having to do with the, the earthy financial thing 
and the healing energies of Virgo, which this is sixth house of hell, and um, Chiron, which is healing too. So there's more work, much more work to do on that. I mean, I, I know it's, it was great that it's in place and people, like I was uninsurable for a long time, you know, I, I well, I mean, I could have gotten health insurance because I, uh, but it would have been, it was some crazy amount. It was thousands of dollars a month, you know, so I, I, you know, went along with no insurance for many years and luckily nothing major happened, but you know, that's just, uh, that needs some work and, and, and not so much about a money game. I mean, who's gaining? I mean, this is total. Uh, you know, somebody's gaining from this. Everybody paying for their own health care, but still collecting these monthly premiums from everybody. You know, so that needs some work, and I think that's something that could come up. You know, has to come up again, and 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 still needs addressing. You know, Hillary shouldn't drop the ball on that. That was always her baby. She should bring it on home and really make it uh, right. You know. Uh, but anyways, the other thing that I was um, noticing, and maybe it's just because I'm kind of geared into, into these past life readings, I've been doing a lot of those lately, all these critical degrees, including the nodes, uh, which I've also talked about at length, about how we're leaving the um, Libra Aries energy and coming into the Virgo Pisces energy. It's at zero, but all these asteroids, uh, Vesta, 2943 Pisces, uh, Ceres, 2958 Capricorn, uh, Pallas, 2842 Sagittarius. So these critical degrees are definitely times of big shifting. You know, we're shifting from one energy to the next energy. Um, and soon these two are going to be joined. I mean, they're joined now. They're um, Practically they're one degree off, exactly, you know, 43 here. So the, the meaning, uh, I'm talking about these two meaning Vesta and the South Node. You know, they're going to come together here. So it's a shift of energy big time. And the critical degrees at the 29s and stuff often means that it's critical. You know, it's critical that you do something about it. You know, it's like you need to do something about it. We need to do something about it. And I know it's asteroids, and many people don't really count the asteroids. But let's take a second. That's something new we can kind of look at. Let's just start over here with Vesta and the notes. 29 Pisces, 43. So um, Piscean energy, you know, and Vesta came through uh, with, and I feel like it's illusions, it's drugs. Um, I actually had to stop this video and reshoot it, so I'm not sure because my battery died. I was just a minute or two into it. I'm not sure if I mentioned, but I had a real strong feeling about elder people and the medicines that they're on that maybe they should be checked. Check your, if you have older people in your life. Um, but, you know, the older people are the ones that are taking handfuls of pills all the time. For two reasons, you know, because they have more health issues, obviously, because they're older. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> it scares the crap out of me every time as this printer goes through its self-cleaning. And um, every time it does it, I you know, think I, should, I would be used to it by now. <laughs> This is going to make a little noise. Hopefully it won't disrupt the video too much. But um, that, number one, back to the elderly people. You know, because Saturn kind of rules that too. It doesn't kind of, it does rule that. Um, and it's making that adjustment to the full moon. At any rate, um, talking about that. Well, number one, because they're older and their bodies need more care. But secondly, they come from a different generation of the pill poppers, you know. Everybody that I know um, that's older, not everybody, but many people that I know that are older, they just are in a different mindset. It's just like, oh, we live in... Because when they were coming up, it was this miracle age of medicine, you know, and the pills uh, would help you and the drugs would help you and the doctor knows best and all that stuff. And we're questioning that. You know, we're questioning that. And this is opposed Mars, too. Hmm. That's an orb, I would say. It's, well, eight, nine degrees out. So I think that's one of the big things that is coming from this energy here, is this, uh, our health and wellness and the illusions surrounding it. And um, the money and costs come in through the, the, the earth energy here. You know, well, how much is it going to cost, you know? That's Pluto and that's Virgo, to all the Earth signs. They want to know how much it's going to cost. 
so you know that that's what that one could be indicating you know it's these illusional things um, now let's look at Ceres at 2958 Capricorn that's commerce and money Capricorn Saturn also elderly people with the Saturn because um, I'm equating that if, if you're not that familiar with astrology because Saturn rules of Capricorn so Capricorn and Saturn are basically the same energy right so Ceres in there, the goddess of the grain. I've, I always feel like Ceres kind of has to do with food, you know, food and nutrition, which also ties into uh, the Virgo energy big time too. So uh, we're going to reevaluate, we need to reevaluate this food and um, what we're eating and, uh, you know, what, Virgo is purity too, because it's Virgo the Virgin, you know, it's, it's purification. There's, a, there's an element of purification. Pluto has that too because Scorpio is the purification too, you know. So there's an element of this purification, purification of food, purification of information and natural, you know, what we're putting in our bodies. The earth signs are our bodies, you know. The earth, our bodies are the part of us that comes from the earth, comes from Gaia, you know. We're the earth, our animal bodies are part of the earth. And that's what will return to Earth, you know, when our spirits fly or whatever. You know, I don't want to get too deep with that kind of stuff. But, you know, so it's this, it's all about, it's taking care of the Earth. But I'm picking up more, it's about our physical bodies and what we're putting into it. And even things like that seem to be good or thought were good. Maybe they're not. You know, maybe they're not good. Then, Pallas at 28, Sagittarius. Uh, let me get a sip of water before we get on to that one. Uh, ideas, I mean, just ideas. Um, 28 is almost on that 26 degrees of galactic center point, which I've been paying a lot of attention to since we've had that line up a couple years ago. I, my moon is 26 Sag, so that's why it like, oh, what's this? You know, kind of st struck my ding, 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 you know, kind of made my attention kind of go in that direction. And I've been watching it since then, and I've been really noting it in people's charts and stuff. Anytime there's, what's well, technically 26, but that's close enough here. And I do, and I, from, from what I know, even scientists don't really know what exactly it is, um, the galactic center. But I do feel like it's a portal. I do feel like, uh, you know, it's, it's a dimensional or a higher realm or some kind of a portal. And then I feel like when planets and points come through and activate that, it can open up a channel. It really can. I feel like it'll open up a channel. Um, it's, you know, square in that Vesta that we just talked about. So, I mean, psychic flashes, absolutely, but I'm feeling more like ideas. Like, because um, Pallas to me is always that inventive ideas. You know, it's Pallas Athena, and it's, um, you know, she was the warrior and all that, but the part of that that always gets me with the Pallas is how she fashioned the tools out of things, you know. So fashioning new tools to do uh, our modern day thing. And our modern day thing, tools aren't necessarily made from the earth. You know, our t we, have a virtu we have virtual wor worlds, we have technology, we have, um, you know, tools. People will say, you know, tools like uh, for therapy and stuff, you know, tools for coping with Da, 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 you know, so tools are, are are a different thing in our modern day now. So, and I'm just really vibing on good ideas coming through, you know, or maybe having just this awareness. If somebody, you know, I've said this in the last one, I, but I, I think that the energy is very still strong about having the illusions, you know, the illusions that we've been under on in all walks all walks of our lives, and then the Chiron, of course, is the having the healing of it too. Okay, so the sun has moved into Scorpio. This is the first, you know, of the slower moving planets to get there. You know, it's like here we are, we're, we're moving into the time of Scorpio. And the Libra energy is dissipating on a lot of levels. You know, it's dissipating because the faster moving planets will be rolling on into Scorpio. And then the nodes are going to go back this way because they travel retrograde most of the time into Virgo. So, again, it's the air, fire surrendering to the earth water energy you know that seems to be a big 
one of the big shifts that's happening. Um, the full moon in Taurus, so this, this is like being very practical. That's another thing I get about this. It's like um, really being practical. Where before, maybe our emotions were involved. You know, our, maybe uh, we, get, we, could be, we could have been overly emotional about something. And, um, you know, Taurus is very practical, down to earth. So it could be like getting a, getting a good grasp on something that you've been really emotional over, um, you know, or something like that. The battery just went down like halfway again, and I, the last one that happened to, too, and I've got all these different batteries. So I might kind of start wrapping it up a little here, because I don't really want, it's better if I don't have to edit anything together. But anyways, yeah, so the full moon is uh, down to earth, practical. Practical ideas and plans being implemented, whether through on the bigger picture or through just in our regular everyday lives, you know. Shattering illusions, um, setting emotions aside that, are, I mean, emotions are good and we should follow our heart, absolutely. But sometimes emotions will cloud the issues, definitely. Sometimes looking at, do we have an emotional attachment to this thing? Or is this, um, or is is there, or is this something that I can really do or want or be, practically, or um, is it just something that I have this emotional thing? Is it rooted in some kind of big wounded thing down here with Chiron too? Is it coming from a place of, I've been wounded and I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna show them, or or this is what I need to be healed, or. You know, um, these are the things that we may be examining during this time, during this full moon here. Okay, I want to rush through because I don't want to have to edit this. Just real quick, as always, uh, check out the uh, past life videos. If, you, if you're into astrology, I'm sure you enjoy it. Lots of people are. I've been getting lots of orders from them, and I really like doing them. Um, you know, it's esoteric astrology. It's your past life. It's your soul's journey, what you're doing here. It's a video reading that you can watch over and over again, which is cool. It'll be up on, as a private video forever, and it, it, it's relevant forever. It's not timely. It's not predictive. It's relevant forever, so you can come back to it years from now and rewatch it. Uh, there's no need to wait for an appointment, too, which is also good, because I've, uh, I've temporarily taken the appointments off of my, my page because I just really need to get caught up on a lot of things, including these past life videos. Sometimes people have the, that order pages on here. you got to keep scrolling to find everything. That's one of the things people, time and time again, I can't f find out how to order stuff. You just have to scroll down. It's all down. The readings are all at the very bottom, and also the Make a Donation is down there. So I'm still doing the Soul's Journey video readings, still doing the computerized charts, uh, all that stuff. And, of course, all my wares are there, and you can find the links below the video. All right, so full moon and Taurus, everybody. Thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing. Um, remember that you are love and beauty incarnate, and I'll speak to you soon.